Next guest, John C. Lyons, is joining us. He's a filmmaker and director of programming at the Film Society of Northwest Pennsylvania. John, welcome. You've been our guest before. It's nice to have you back. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. Good to be back. And you're here to talk about a, um, a film screening series that kicks off this week and goes through April. Tell us a little bit more about yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. So we've been away with our regular weekly film series for three years. Uh, there was a pandemic, of course, that what? happened. What? Yeah. I don't know if you heard. I, did, yeah. I didn't hear. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now we're back, and we've been waiting for the right partners to come back with, uh, because we loved doing the dinner and a movie mm -hmm. at the Bourbon Barrel, um, and now Keller's and Bobby Borgia. We met with them just about three weeks ago. Erica Berlin, our executive director, and I. And we've turned this around really fast, uh, thanks to their help, thanks to the help of Grise, um with the AV. And yeah, so now we've got a 12-week program for three months, February through April, every Wednesday night. We'll open doors at 5 o'clock, and we've got some sleight of hand mm -hmm. at the bar to Fun. start for the first hour. What do you call it? Cocktails and concoctions? That's right. Oh. <laughs> I Pretty did my cool. homework, John. Uh, like that. <laughs> Excellent. I'm looking forward to it myself. <laughs> yeah. um, and then at 6 o'clock, we have food coming out. So this week, uh, Teresa's Lakeside Deli is going to be uh, doing the food. And that's the next hour. And then the movie starts at 7 o'clock. And like you said, it's Elvis, which yeah. is one of the you know big Oscar-nominated films of this year. Definitely a great activity to kind of get you through the winter, the yeah. calmer days through there. So what else is on tap for the first week being back? Yeah, I mean, for the first week, it, it's really just uh, that film. But like I said, we have a different film oh, okay. every week. So and we, so you're highlighting some of the classes, a lot of them that are nominated in uh, yeah. the Golden Globes, the Oscars, the yeah. SAG Screen Actors Guild yeah, Awards. Absolutely. So give us some titles of some of the other movies that are yeah, coming up sure. in Yeah, for sure. So we've got Everything Everywhere All at Once is our second week film. That's the got the most nominations right. this year. Uh, then we've got Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Then we have She Said, which didn't get any nominations, but I felt was an important film to show. Mm -hmm. um, we're also showing like the best nominated short films, like the live action shorts. So that's something different we haven't done before. Okay. So that's something that probably, especially, you know, people won't get a lot of chance to see all of those nominated films. So that yeah. might help with their Oscar ballots if they yeah. do contests and, and parties yeah. and stuff. But you're um, starting off strong with Elvis, and, yeah. If, yeah. and if you're not an Elvis fan, don't let that, don't shy away from it, because it's a Baz Luhrmann yeah. film, right? And it's it, it really is good. It's got a modern twist to it, and it's very, very interesting. You've Tom seen Hanks, it. I've That's seen awesome. it. I thought yeah, it was I great. Loved it. Yeah, I, I loved, loved it too. I was a little nervous, right? Because Elvis, it could go wrong in so right. many ways, right? right? But the performances were great. The music was fantastic. And yeah, it's very stylized and mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun. Very yeah. poppy. What are you most excited about bringing this entire event back for besides just watching the movies? And the just conference? for the community, yeah. honestly, because, you know, we do the Eerie Horror Fest and we have a weekly or a monthly meetup at Room 33 for the Horror Fest mm -hmm. as well. But as far as like all the other amazing genres of film, like we have been kind of absent since the pandemic. Right. So. Sure. I'm excited about just bringing that community back together. Mm -hmm. And I know you had asked before, will we have a discussion after each film? Honestly, that's up to the people yeah, that are perhaps, attending. Right? Yeah. We would love to. I would love to. I miss talking about <laughs> movies and you know sharing in that experience right. with everybody. So tickets are 18 bucks, 18 but that bucks. gets you your your cocktails and concoctions and the entertainment. It doesn't include the drinks. Okay. But you can absolutely go up to the bar and sure. purchase drinks, and you can do sleight of hand, yes, without charge. And but the, yeah, does that the cover the dinner, the, movie. the food, yeah. and the movie? Okay. Yeah. And just you just buy your own cocktails yeah. if you want them. And there's popcorn that's going to be uh, made. They bought a new popcorn machine there. Okay. So you'll have popcorn also during the movie. It sounds like a lot of fun. And like AJ said, you know, this time of year, we're all just jonesing for something to do yeah. inside. Yeah. Um, and like you said, to build community, meet some new people, discuss some great films. I think it's a great idea. For sure. Yeah. Thank you. John, thanks for coming yeah. in. Thanks for having yeah. me. Yeah, and I hope it's a success for you. And come on back and we'll talk about it some more as your season awesome. progresses. Love it. Okay. We'll be right back.